Hi, and thank you for watching this brief introduction to the Ford C Max. My name's Amy from Johnson Controls, and I'll walk you through all the key features of the vehicle and explain most of the commonly asked questions. The Ford C Max has keyless entry, so you don't even have to take your keys out of your pocket to lock or unlock. Simply touch the handle to open and press to lock. If you prefer, the FOB has the standard functionality, including a feature to deadlock the car by pushing the middle button twice. Here we have the fuel filler. Push it when the vehicle is unlocked and the flap will open. You'll notice that there's no filler cap. This is because the car is fitted with Ford's Easy Fuel meaning that you'll never make the mistake of filling the vehicle with the wrong fuel. You'll also find a small plastic funnel, which is designed for the unlikely event that you run out of fuel. When inserted into the Easy Fuel system, the device allows you to use a jerry can to add fuel. Once we open the boot, you will see we have the floor hatch. This lifts up to reveal the spare wheel and tool kit. Your locking wheel nut will most likely be stored in the glove box upon collection. Please make sure you keep this safe and it remains in the vehicle always. The C-Max has seven seats, two of which fold out of the floor. Simply pull these red handles and they click into place. You will also notice some very useful cubby holes and a 12 volt outlet in this space. The car also has rear sliding doors, making loading very easy. The rear seats also fold flat. Different combinations can be selected. To make the load space completely flat, you can pull the bottom part of the seating up. The central seat then folds into the adjacent seat, leaving the final seat to collapse. Once inside the driver's seat, you control all the windows using these buttons on the door. The mirrors can also be positioned electronically using this switch. You can isolate the control of the windows in the back using this button here. The infotainment system controls, along with the climate controls, are situated on the dash, with multi-zone operation available to keep you and your passengers comfortable. There are steering wheel mounted controls for further ease of use. Here is the light control. We have the option for automatic lights, side lights and full beam. The fog lights can also be operated from the same panel. The bonnet release is situated in the passenger's footwell. Once you pull this handle, there's a catch on the left-hand side of the bonnet to lift the bonnet to reveal the engine bay. The front seats can be adjusted by using the handle underneath the seat. The lumbar can be adjusted with the handle on the side. The steering wheel reach and rate can also be adjusted by this handle underneath the wheel. To start the vehicle, you just need the key in your pocket. To press the clutch, and push and hold the start and stop button. The car will not start without the clutch being depressed. The car comes with auto start stop, meaning the vehicle will cut out when you come to a halt. This can be disengaged by pressing this button here. Please remember that this vehicle is a company asset. It's your responsibility to take care of it whilst in your care. Here are the main key policy notes all Johnson Control employees must adhere to. It's illegal to smoke in company vehicles. In addition, no vaping is allowed. Use of a mobile phone, even on hands-free, is not permitted as part of our driver distraction policy. Drivers must have signed a driver mandate and had their license checked before driving on company business. If you change or swap a vehicle, for the company to remain compliant with the HMRC, report the swap to the company vehicle provider. There is no need to report this change if the provider instigated the swap. Your vehicle is an important company asset and it's the driver's responsibility to make sure the vehicle is roadworthy to drive. If you have any doubts, do not drive the vehicle and report it to the fleet provider who will assist and arrange to keep you mobile. It is essential that all maintenance and servicing is carried out when prompted. If you don't know when your service or MOT is due, please contact the fleet provider.